Hey, Sanjay Annie, I'm back. No, I haven't put up any recipe for a while, but today I'm going to do uh, something a little bit different. Um, it's uh, I haven't actually done this yet to say it's the first time I'm doing it, but I thought I wanted to um, let you see the whole process. It's um, it's called coconut curry shrimp. So I have um, first thing I did before starting was put on some pasta. You can use whichever pasta you like. Um, my this is my favorite brand. That's what I use. Fusilli, that's mine. So I'm going to use about 400 grams of shrimp. What I've done with the shrimp is that I've not kind of butterflied it, but I've cut them in half. I have uh, a small small onion, some Scotch bonnet, scallion, ginger, and garlic. So what I'm going to do, the first thing I'll do is that I'm going to add um, this care of my, my sister Dee Dee. She brought it back from Jamaica for me, this green seasoning. Haven't really ever tried it yet, but today's a day that I'm going to be trying something different. So I'm going to go ahead and add maybe a teaspoon of this green seasoning along with salt, garlic, pepper to my shrimp. Uh, I will then um, go ahead and saute my vegetables. Um, then I will go ahead and add some curry powder, coconut um, cream, and some um, vegetable stock. So we're going to go ahead and um, get, get everything together, and then we'll come back when I'm ready to start, okay? Go. Cool. Okay, so uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to marinate my shrimp. So I'm going to start with a little black pepper, maybe about half a, a quarter teaspoon. Same with the garlic powder because I already have some garlic in there, so I'll just put a little bit dash of that. And you know me, I don't really measure, so and then uh, salt. I'm not sure if that green seasoning have any, so I'll be careful with the salt initially. And then when I've put all the ingredients in uh, before put in the pasta, then I can taste it for um, things. So uh, it smells nice. So I'll put say about Two, 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 well, one and a half teaspoon. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stir this in. Uh, in fact, uh, I'm going to use my hands. My hands are clean. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure all the seasoning gets into the, the shrimp. I'm not going to let it really marinate for any, any length of time, but just to do it a couple minutes before. So, smells good. All right, so let's go ahead and I'll be right back and I'll start the whole process and let you see. Okay? Start. Okay, okay I'm back. Uh, so I'm going to add, uh, my pan's heated. I'm going to add some oil, uh, maybe about two tablespoons. And I'm going to go ahead and add maybe a tablespoon of I'm using margarine, you can use butter, and go ahead. So I'm going to use this to help to saute the onion, scally, all my little vegetables. Once I have it sauteed, I'm then going to add my curry powder in there, and um, I use some a little bit of vegetable stock before adding um, coconut cream. So the oil is nice and getting hot, so let's go ahead and... Gonna just throw in these onions first, and just to make them get translucent. So, just gonna give it like 30 seconds before adding the rest of my little seasoning. So you can use any type of onion. I use, uh, you know, I like Vidalia, the sweet onion. Uh, you can use just a small onion, uh, any any type of onion that you want. So then I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to add in my ginger, garlic, and the scotch bonnet along with, uh, you can leave out the scotch bonnet if you don't want it spicy, but I, I love the spice, so I will do that in mine. So it's going to give it a nice little, get those vegetables a little bit softer. Just take about Maybe about another 30 seconds or so. You don't want your garlic to be burnt either. That's why I always say we add something first before adding the garlic in there. 
you can as I'm as I said I'm just trying to uh, I, I saw the, a similar recipe and I thought I would try it um, my own version so we'll see how it goes hopefully it turned out nicely mm. okay so now I, I'm beginning to smell the ginger and the onion and everything you can smell that I've also gone ahead and strained out my pasta drain it I I personally I like to rinse a little bit of the starch off so it's ready to go so once my vegetables are ready I'm gonna go ahead and add maybe about two tablespoons of curry curry powder you can use any curry powder you want mine is um, beta pak curry that's mostly what I use I'm gonna just use a little bit of um, um, brown sugar. Sorry, let me just stir this around. Oh, that smells so good already. So I'm just going to add like uh, just about a pinch of sugar, just to cut down a little bit of brown sugar, just about a pinch. So we're gonna kind of, you know, let the curry uh, curry powder cook out a little bit. Uh, not much, maybe just about a minute. And then I'm gonna add just maybe, um, I'm gonna show, maybe about quarter cup of, of vegetable stock. Just to free up the vegetables, you can use, you could use a little white wine if you want or something like that. Um, there we go. And you see it helps to free up all the seasoning and the curry is looking really nice. Really good. Alright, so once we have that, I'm just going to go ahead and finish it. So maybe a quarter cup I can initial. So once this is all um, done, we'll go ahead and we're going to add our shrimp. Now you know that shrimp cooks very quickly, so um, in no time. Once it starts to turn pink, we know it's done. Just going to finish off the, the rest of the sauce. Sorry vegetable stock. I'm going to turn the fire down just a little bit. So we don't want to overcook the, the shrimp. Once it starts turning pink, we'll go ahead and we're going to, I'm going to open up my Sorry, should have opened this before. <laughs> Coconut cream, and it's a, I'm just using a small can, and I'm gonna put it in the middle, and I'm gonna use a little bit of hot water just to rinse it. Rinse the can. Make sure the fire is not too much. And then we're gonna go ahead. I'm going to stir it. Oh, that looks good already. So we're going to just finish off the shrimp. It will take no time to cook. I'm going to go ahead and taste it for salt and see if there's anything else that I need. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I did add a little salt, a little black pepper, and a little garlic just to adjust the taste a bit. It's deli it tastes delicious, honestly. So even if you're making curry, uh, curry shrimp, you could do it exactly the same way, actually. So I'm going to go ahead now, and I'm going to add the pasta. I'm going to do it slowly because I might not need to put all of this pasta in there. So I'm just going to put about half first, and then I'm going to turn it in, and then 
start coating everything. So I mean, this could be easily, you could use rice to eat it with, but putting it pasta in there gives it, a, a, you know, a little variety. Gonna add a little bit more pasta and not all of it. I'm gonna leave back a little bit. Wow, smells really good. I wish you could smell this. It smells great. So virtually, it's, I would say we're done. Just going to make sure I get all bits of the pasta have the sauce on it. I'm going to probably serve this with, I could serve it with a little salad or um, you know, and kind of, so I have this kale salad that I like, so I'll just go ahead and make a little bit of it. So put just maybe one touch more and then that should be it. And then we just turn up because everything is cooked, cooked, everything is mixed. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the fire now. I'm just finish incorporating this in there. And that looks delicious. So I hope, hope you give it a try. Uh, you see how easy it was um, and like I say if you're even making curry curry shrimp this could be the exact way you would do it so go ahead uh, give me any feedback on it I hope you enjoy this recipe and uh, take care till our next video bye